Hello, kindergarten. Um, I'm going to show you a simpler way to do the ladybug. What you're making today looks like this. And the first thing that you need to do is to pick two pieces of paper. Any color you want. I have them in a special drawer over there. You get to choose them. You can choose one big and one little. That's the only two things that I tell you to do. When you get back to your seat, you're going to set your circle in there. And it look, it might overlap a little bit. That's okay. No big deal. I'm going to put this underneath so I don't get, um, I don't draw on my Elmo. And so the first thing is you're going to get your pencil, put your hand in the center. I'm going to use a colored colored pencil so you can see it. And I trace, do part of it, come around the edge. And like I said, if it overlaps and it goes on the edge, that's okay. So the first step is you choose your two colors. See where that went over the edge? That's all right. And then you take your protractor. So there's the stencil, set that aside, set your protractor, and if it was me, I would put it right up to the edge so then I don't waste all this extra paper. Trace it, you already have your line there. So I've got my first step done. After that, what do we do, everybody? We nibble, 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 turn the paper, nibble, 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 nibble. Okay, so there's my head of my ladybug. Now see how I can see my pencil mark? You don't want to see your pencil mark, so that will be glued down. Now we're going to pretend I just cut this. Look how quick I am. And in order for this to be in half, and we'll set that in the center, so we have our ladybug head, and, and we're doing this because of Charlie Harper. We've already done our art history on him. And so we fold this in half, make sure the pencil side is down, fold it in half, and we crease it or fold and we open it up and you're going, oh look, it's equal. So think of that as a whole piece of pizza or a big cookie and you're going to share it with somebody and you want it to be equal. Then you're going to take where that crease is and you're going to nibble, 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 all the way across. Now I have two pieces for the wings and a head. And you can decide if you want your paper like this or your paper like that. And it's going to be white. This is just the back of my other paper I have. So you're going to set your head down, then you're going to have your glue bottle. Remember, frame of glue, and I just cleaned them all this weekend. So we take our paper and we glue all the way around. Look at this, boys and girls. I'm not squeezing too hard. I'm not making a bunch of cookies with icing everywhere. And then that's called a frame of glue. And then I turn it over, use this real blank piece of paper. <laughs> I'm going to set that aside. I forgot it. Messed up. I need to do my head first. So there's my colored part. See, that's where my pencil would be. I would glue that down. So frame of glue. And if you're not good at doing the frame, then just do dot, dot, not a lot. Pick it up. Okay. And you should be sharing the glue with the person next to you. When we're done with the glue, we twist the cap. So figure out where you want it. Put my head down first. And rub. Make sure I don't have any glue sticking out. If you do, get a tissue or a paper towel and wipe it up real good. I already have this one set and ready to go. Now you need to decide if you want your wings together, but you have to put them on top of your head. So I'm creasing. Oh, I'm going to go get my timer there. So I'm making sure that I'm rubbing all the way on the edge of my ladybug's wings. Okay, now set this here and go, oh, well, I can't glue it like that. That lines up perfectly. Turn it over, frame of glue. Okay, now after you get the frame of glue down, what you can do after that is to go back in, and we've already drawn ladybugs, so you know how to draw them. You can go back in with a colored pencil or a black marker, and you can add your detail of your antennas, your eyeballs, your little legs. Do a pattern on your belly. Maybe you want to add, look, do another pattern going through. That's the inside underneath his wings, okay? Now, the fun part that I want to get to, so we're going to pretend that I have all this drawn because you're going to do that first. You get to use my special paints. And my special paints are little dots, okay? They're dab ink. And when you use these, you're going to very carefully untwist the cap. You're not going to squeeze. Do not squeeze with these because you'll ruin my paint. And then you're just going to press. Oh, look at that. And we've talked about symmetry where things look the same on one side as I do on the other. So I would try to line it up and have it be the same on one side as it is the other. And then when you're done, like I said, the first step 
And then we put the cap on. We put them back to our table where all our supplies go. And then, look, I would twist my glue, make sure it's clean, put it in my little tub bucket. And you're going to go back in. A ladybug has how many legs, everybody? Six, Mrs. Milligan. You're right. So you're going to put your legs in. Do your little design. Maybe I want a wavy line in here. Whatever you want. And then these are going to go in the hallway. Put some eyes here. Some eyes over here. And then maybe some antenna. Okay, so there is your beautiful little ladybug. And we'll do those step by step in a minute.